Hi, so I've mentioned before about the anisotropic nature of this ink. Now, certain anisotropic materials have some really interesting properties. A uh, material is anisotropic if the property changes uh, depending on the angle that you approach it. So, if we have a sheet of graphene that we know the electroconductivity is ballistic across the sheet and next to zero or very, very poor at near 90 degrees to the sheet, perpendicular to the sheet, and this has meant people to think, hang on a sec, if that's going to be the case, maybe we can make a um, thermoelectrical generator out of this stuff. And you can indeed. Now, with anisotropic materials, what they tend to do is put them in layers like this. So your block of the material is made out of these angled layers. Then you collect your current from end electrodes here, and you apply your heat difference here. So you heat this. Now, as you heat this, the heat will travel differentially, forcing the electron to travel a different path, and it generates an electric current for you. So if you were to want to construct this style of thermoelectric generator from the ink, what you'd have to do is take a piece of plastic or paper, paint it in a unidirectional way, and then stack up loads of them and shove it over at an angle. And that will get you a thermoelectric generator based on the ink. Now, I'm describing this as opposed to showing it you because um, a chap asked about this and the description of it was a bit involved. The making of it is also a bit involved and I've been a bit busy doing other things. But essentially, that's how you do it. Anyway, I hope that was of interest and thank you for watching.